What's going on, Ultimate Hoops Atlanta? Welcome to At The Line, another great episode. We're here today at Alpharetta, knocking out a little quick At The Line this morning. Um, you know, trying to bring the show back to everybody. You know, people get you know, very worried if they don't get to see me and Prince, um, you know, do our usual thing. So we're back. Um, last week, man, pretty good week. Got a couple good stories. Uh, I'm going to lead this off with, um, there's a rumor. Greg Barlow was at... Sandy Springs League, um, you know, hanging out with his boy Mike Griff, giving him some moral support due to Mike Griff's uh, recent shooting woes. Um, and we got a chance to catch up with him. I'm just going to let the interview do the talking. What's going on, Ultimate Hoops Atlanta, man? I got Mike Griff and Mr. Champ Barlow back in the gym. I didn't even know you knew how to find it, the Ultimate Hoops <laughs> League right now. Um, you've been gone for a while. Is this? Is are you here to send a message? Are you coming back? You coming back to the gym? You coming back to the seat? You know, put back. Max contrast coming, coming back? back soon. We got a different name. I'll let you know that when we when we come back. But we are coming back. So I will see you in a league soon. That is a oh, we can yeah. say we can announce it right now. Oh, yeah. That's hundred percent. Um, your boy here, Mike Griff. He, he played a couple games with me. Um, now he's playing with the known shooters. He seems to attract losing right now. Are you sure? You want to bring? I mean, he, Mike has not hit a shot since you've probably been in a gym with him. So I'm hoping, like you know, with you here today, you know, with your big brother here today, you think you can, uh, you can knock down some shots for us. Hey man, I'm just out here to try to play, you know, play hard and try to, you know, give my team my best effort. You know, whatever happens at the end of the day is what happens. Uh, but don't, don't, don't sleep. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, don't, don't, don't sleep. But uh, I love the motivation, though. And I did play with you guys. I enjoyed it, man. It was cool. It was fun. Now we winning, so we glad we we don't miss you. But hey, but, hey you heard it right here, Ultimate Hoops Atlanta. Champs coming back. Mike might hit a shot. Ty trying to mess with me, but hey, we all good. We'll see y'all next week. Yeah, man, that is um, interesting news, man. Mike Bar, I mean Greg Barlow. I said Mike Barlow. I, I mix y'all two up. Y'all so close. Uh, Greg Barlow, man, claiming he is making a return to Ultimate Hoops. So you heard it here first. Max Contracts 2.0, whatever name they're going to come up with, is coming back to the league, and they need to because known shooters need, need, need some help. Uh, but I got to give some props real quick to Mike Griff, 11 for 19, 27 points. You know, he came to play. Um, the known shooters know how to score. They just don't play any defense whatsoever. They lost uh, 113 and 92 to a, a God Squad team without Kevin Willis. So that's kind of, um, kind of a sad sad outing but usually when the known shooters play it's a sad outing you guys got the known shooters this week so um what's your thoughts of that game coming up man you guys gonna blow them out is it an easy win are you resting starters how, how you feel right now we're definitely resting some starters or whatever uh you know it's second game towards the end of the season whatnot um a lot of my players are injured going through some mental woes right now so we're trying to get things together whatnot but uh you know, we're not really worried about known shooters. We're not playing for them. We're playing for the championship. The only person that we really have to worry about is Ash. Ash is killing it, probably averaging 25 points a game, but they just cannot get him the ball day in and day out or whatever. This team is not mentally strong. This team is not ready for us. This team has no chance of beating us. Mike, you had an amazing game. You're out of your slump. But the only reason why you're out of your slump is because Greg Barlow was in the building. The moment that Greg Barlow is not in the building, you will be back to shooting three for 27. Wow, a lot of strong, strong words there from Prince, man. Always, Prince always likes to use the media and at the line for intimidation factors. <laughs> uh, one other major factor we're going to talk about from Sandy Springs. Really, not a lot happened last week at Sandy Springs. Some you know, weak games. Free agents got beat again. Um, you, know, you guys got a nice, you know, I'll call it an easy win against, against uh, you know, Mumford. Um, who we play this week, by the way, I'm just going to say right now, BG, you're going under 10 points tonight. But that's all I have to say about the game. I'm not worried about anything else. W for us, under 10 for BG. Let's talk a little bit about Mr. Mike Hat McCarthy. Wow. Best game of his life, 10 threes, 10 for 22 from the field. That's 10 for 22 from three-point line. He did not shoot a single two-pointer. He has 30 points. Now, I'm not sure if that means Hat is back on Hats the Man, or does that mean that the known shooters really may be the worst defensive team in the history of basketball? Uh, we got a chance to catch up with Hat after the game and talk a little bit about his performance. What's going on, Ultimate Hoops Atlanta? 
I'm here with Hat. Ten threes, Hat. Amazing game out of you. Y'all blew him out. 113-92. How you feel after that performance? I think you hit like four in a row there at the end. Uh, yeah, it was good, man. It was a good team win tonight. Uh, you know, um, they got a tough team over there, and we, um, you know, want to send a message, let us know that, uh, you know, we're gonna take care of business here, and uh, you know, this is our league, man. We're gonna win a championship. All right, man. You guys uh, got only one loss right now in the season. Uh, lost to enough said. You faced them at the end of the year. Got another rematch against them. Kevin Willis gonna show up for that game. You guys are gonna have your full your full squad. And you're gonna knock them off. Hey, let's hope so, Kevin. We definitely need him. Um, he's definitely an integral part of our team, um, and we definitely need our whole team there. Enough said. Definitely the defending champion uh, champion. So we need a full squad to, to definitely keep up with them. We, uh, we give them all the credit in the world. They they won the last league. So. All right, man. Hot seat. Who's a better shooter, you or Frankie? Uh, depends on the day. All right. We're out here. What'd you say, Prince? That is a crazy stat line. Yeah, exactly. Hat, man. Hats off to you. You know, uh, you know, you might get the early hats off right now, but 30 points on, on 10 three-pointers. I mean, I didn't know you had it in you. I'm pretty sure that, you know, when you guys got home, DT was real proud of you. I hope he tucked you in and read you a little nighttime story. And, um, you know, you know, obviously maybe you need to talk to Frankie and say it's time for Frankie to step back and get you more touches. I don't know. I'm just going to throw that out there. All right. Um, and I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave Sandy Springs alone. There's a lot of good matchups coming up at the end of the season. You guys got God Squad one more time. Uh, we've got uh, Mumford or Mike Heroes, whatever, BG's Ballers, whatever ne team name they want to come up with. And, um, you know, let's end the season strong. Woodstock. We're going to go right over to Woodstock. Um, some great games, man. Um, most importantly, I'd like to talk about um, William Bristow. You know, Will, we give you a lot of junk. Back-to-back -back outstanding performances from William Bristow, but I'm pretty sure back-to-back -back losses in those outstanding performances. I mean, Will can't get his team to step up and play with him. Um, you know, we got a chance to catch up with Will after the game and talk a little bit about those issues and uh, Dylan's complaints. Oh, Dylan, you had Dylan too? Nice. Joe, interview, Joe. Joe, interview. William Bristow, man. We got William Bristow here. Uh, 24 points tonight. Another good performance out of you, but your team lets you down again. Uh, any words for those guys? I mean, you seem to be putting your heart out there. Late in the game, you weren't getting any touches. They were just throwing up threes. Uh, you know, how you feel about your team right now? You know, I feel good about the team. You know, it was a team effort. We came out there. You see the score. It's close. You know, everybody left it out on the floor. And, you know, we had a good performance, but they came up, you know, better and stronger than us. I got Dylan on the sideline telling me he's, he's worried about his minutes. Uh, you know, you got, you got any words for him? Any, any words of encouragement? I know you're the coach, the manager, GM of the team. Um, you know, you don't want you guys frustrated out there. You know, I mean, everybody missed shots and, and whatnot, but we got to continue to play hard. And if we feel like there's a, a negative there, we have to kind of change that situation. So he tries his best out there. You know, we get him the ball, and, you know, we just go we go with Douglas Rose jumping in here on the conversation. Y'all two have a little uh, Facebook feud going on. Uh, Doug, do you have, any, you have any actual words for William after this, after this win? I want to give my man Will some props. He balled out today. Got to give him some props. Good job. I got nothing. All right, man. William Bristow, as always, another good game out of you. Stepping his game up. I saw you cross Doug up in the first half. I saw his little ankles snap. So, uh, you know, hopefully your team can get on, get on the same page as you and y'all can start winning some games. That would be all right. All right, man. 11 for 21 from the field, 24 points, uh, three assists, four rebounds. Pretty solid game. Um, his arch nemesis, Doug, only had 16. So he outplayed Doug, which is, you know, you can go on Facebook and say, outplayed you, Doug, but then you got an L. Um, Prince, man, nice game from you, 29 points, 11 for 15 from the field. Enjoy that. Um, you will not be scoring like that on Wednesday. David Graham will lock you down. Uh, Detroit versus everybody is definitely getting an L to my team. You know, Prince doesn't really have what it takes to win, um, you know, without Ant Brown. So uh, it's pretty plain and simple. Enjoy these easy wins. But, um, you know, it's over for you. Um, we're going to go ahead and – Beat y'all by 15 is my, is my prediction, so you can put that in the article. Um, let's talk a little bit about Team Taylor. I'm going to change their team name to Team Taylor because after now losing Evan, Carl, Austin Cheatham, 
everybody <laughs> that matters on that team. Taylor Patterson's once left alone. Um, you know, I don't know if they're going to be able to continue. They've only lost one game to you guys. They beat us uh, with Carl. We got them at the end of the season. Uh, they played a good game. They won. They came back and, you know, knocked off Ty and Caleb Hayes, who always puts up 30-plus points. You know, um, he had 32. Um, but I think they're in trouble. What do you think, man? You, you got any thoughts for uh, uh, Taylor's team and, and what they can do to make it work, or is, is Prey the only option? I'm calling out Taylor. Taylor, I need the old Taylor back, the Taylor that everybody was afraid of, the person who came out the gym from the bathroom shooting three-point shots. That is the Taylor that we need for y'all to even win a game because 22 points is not going to cut it anymore. I need the old Taylor to bring it out. I need you to score 50 points. I need you to be the leading scorer of Woodstock. Bring it. The challenge is on. Can you step up to the challenge? Carl Richburg had a great game, final game of the season, 13 for 20 from the field, 34 points. Carl, I'm not glad you're gone, man. I want to give you an L, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see if you can uh, we'll, you know, make it back from Michigan for the championship, something like that. Um, you know, the only guy Taylor might have left that could score a basket, and this is a sad day, is Jack Patrick. We got a chance to talk to Jack. Uh, you know, I had a solid game of cherry picking, eight cherry pick points, um, you know, did his thing, you know, Flopped on, flopped on defense, uh, you know, probably crossed half court on defense only 40 to 30 percent, 30, 40 percent of the time. Uh, we got a chance to catch up with Jack and see what he uh, had to say about his team. What's going on, Ultimate Hoops Atlanta? Here with my boy Jack Patrick, man. Good game out of you. A lot of cherry picking, yeah. a lot of easy layups. Yeah. Um, kind of did your normal thing out there. How do you feel about your performance? Uh, I felt pretty good. I felt like I, I, I gave, it, gave it a good run on defense. Uh, I was probably hanging back a little bit on offense like you talked about, but uh, came out with a win thanks to Carl shooting and Taylor's ignorance, I guess. Well, you know, Taylor, man. Taylor has been, uh, been very passive this season, not taking as many shots. Uh -huh. You're not used to that. Usually Taylor's yelling at you, screaming at yep. you, telling you what to do. How do you like the new, new improved Taylor? Well, uh, it's a little quieter, but I have a feeling it's going to get a little louder next week since we're probably losing Carl. So Taylor's going to get back in his uh, command and roll next, next week, so we'll see what happens. So you guys got only one loss in the season, lost to Detroit versus everybody, got three one-loss teams. You guys are uh, losing some of your top players. Are you going to be able to pick up the slack? Definitely. That's all I got for you, definitely. All right, man, you heard it here first. Jack Patrick, never playing defense, always playing offense. We're out. Got to love Jack, man. Staple of the league. Um, you know, great guy. Comes every week, plays hard, and, you know, what the league's all about. But, Jack, we're going to blow y'all out the last game of the season. Um, before we leave y'all tonight, I'm going to give you a little time for hats off, man. Prince, who is the guy this week that impressed you the most? I mean, there's a lot of big-time scoring performances out there, a lot of 30-plus performances. Um, there were some high rebound games. I think um, Der Derek Wilkins had a crazy rebounding game. But everyone was playing. Who who's your hats off, Prince? It's got to be Mike. I hate to say this, McCarthy. So you call him hat. Don't call him hat. I mean, the I, I, unbelievable. I mean, I'm stuttering that you shot 10 for 22, 45 percent from from the arc. Didn't even shoot a two point shot. 30 points unbelievable game like unbelievable stuttering I cannot even think that you could you still had it in you got to give it to hat hats off unbelievable talent I mean and then that's without I mean you outshot Frankie and that's surprising because I thought Frankie was the best shooter in the league but it looks like hat is officially the best shooter of God squad but uh I got to give it off to uh, hat uh way to play boy hats off for the week I refuse to take my hat off for hat. Uh, you do not get my hats off this week. I, I, I'm very upset. I'm going to give it to Derek Wilkins. I didn't want to even bring up his stat line. 22 and 19. 22 and 19. I mean, Mike, even with 30 points, you get a 9.0 PPR. You still shot 40%, okay? You know, I got to give it to a guy shooting 10 for 17 from the field. Um, you know, 50% from three, two for four from three. 22 points and 19 rebounds. Uh, Derek, impressive.
Hats off for Derek Wilkins, man. Yeah, I'm taking the segment over. I'm taking the segment over. Sometimes Prince needs – it's early, and he's actually just told me – I think you just quoted, Hat is the greatest uh, player in the league, or something like that was said. Of God Squad. Of God Squad. It was <laughs> crazy, blasphemy. Um, all right, man. Well, another great week. Uh, before, you know, we let you go, I just want to make sure you understand one thing. I, if I didn't let it sink in enough. Wednesday night, coming this Wednesday, it's going to be a blowout for you, Prince. I mean, I, my prediction is that you won't even be able to show your face on, um, at the line next week. We might literally get you a mask or a paper bag. So be ready for next week, Prince, paper bag head. Uh, definitely getting the 15, 20 point loss. I mean, they just don't have what it takes. Uh, Justin Rhodes might be the better of the two brothers, but um, you know, we're really worried about you know what G and Garrett. We're not just we're just not worried about what Doug and Prince bring to the table because they don't bring much. So we'll see y'all next week and looking forward to it.